हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू माय थर्ड ट्यूटोरियल ऑफ द इंडियन बैम्बू फ्लूट और द बांसुरी आई एम चिरंजीव फ्रॉम द डिवाइन बांसुरी यूट्यूब चैनल एंड इन माय प्रीवियस ट्यूटोरियल वी टॉक्ड अबाउट व्हाट आर द टेक्निक्स ऑफ होल्डिंग द फ्लूट एंड व्हाट आर द टेक्निक्स ऑफ ब्लोइंग टू प्रोड्यूस द साउंड एंड इन टूडेज ट्यूटोरियल वी विल बी टॉकिंग अबाउट ऑन हाउ टू लो हाउ टू प्ले द लोअर पिचेस एंड हाउ टू प्ले द हायर पिचेस इन द बांसुरी सो लेट स्टार्ट before that i will tell you that uh, if you are uh, new to this video then please have a watch uh, of my previous video because in that i have completely explained on how to uh, how to blow and how to produce the sound and how to what are the techniques of uh, fingering what are the techniques of holding the flute so you have to be that that was a completely basic lesson you have to watch that video first before proceeding ahead i would like to tell you uh, one more thing that we will first focus on how to play the flute how to play the different notes in the flute the theoretical part of music i'll be covering in uh, upcoming tutorials so please be patient about that so we will just focus on how to play the notes and uh, in the bansuri so that will be our first uh, focus so as i uh, discussed in my previous tutorial uh, it was uh, like i discussed the um, uh, how to hold the flute Uh, how to fingers use the fingers while playing the notes so we discussed on how to play the first three holes like so after that these three holes will come so for that i will first tell you that any note you want to play then you have to use all the four all all the fingers for that L let's say i'm playing this this uh, note when i'm covering uh, the four fingers right that means that uh, you are covering all the fingers properly for that uh, all of all the four holes if you are leaking any of the sound any of the you know, air from any of the hole then the uh, note will not get played so let let me demonstrate that to you so i am playing this note when four fingers are closed four holes are closed see i am closing this if i am if i am uh, loosening any of the finger then the, then the complete note will not play i am loosening this one let's say see the airy sound will come and the note will not uh, sound any if i am loosening this finger see see any any finger uh, if you are loosening the sound will not come so you have to be proper about how to uh, how to place the fingers for that you have to uh, watch the previous video in which i have minutely explained on uh, how to uh, place your fingers to produce the sound so similarly we will move into the next uh, next note this is like fifth note fourth note for that also all five fingers have to be placed so imagine you are playing one by one increasing the number of fingers you use for the holes so you have to be very cautious about closing the holes that is the first basic funda of learning flute of learning the bansuri so see i am closing all the holes then the last note the last will note will um, be a little difficult for you at the beginning because all six holes are closed so that means that you don't have to commit a single mistake of uh, loosening any of the fingers or or air leaking out of any of the hole so take a good breath and then blow keep the note as much as much time as you can then what you do do it from the beginning itself then so this was all about how to play the lower pitches so practice this a lot and uh, we will move uh, now into how to play the higher pitches which is very interesting topic in uh, playing the bansuri so before that i will tell you the range of the flute uh, from which note to which note it in, it can play so i'll tell you i'll just de demonstrate this to you so when closing all the six holes that is the lowest note in the bansuri lowest note means lowest in frequency 
I'll, I'll, I'll show you the range of the flute now. From this low note to which highest note it can play. See, this is the highest note in the Bansuri, highest in frequency. So this is the lowest note and that was the highest note in the frequency. So as you see that this was very interesting because um, I have only six holes and how am I able to play the higher pitches? How, how is the construction of the, of the Bansuri is? So that it is able to play the higher pitches even if there are only six holes. There are no extra holes for which I am playing the higher pitches. So the, so the thing is, so if I am closing this, I will show that to you. If I am closing this, I am blowing in, inside the hole with a soft, soft manner. I am slowly blowing. If I am increasing the speed of my air coming out of my mouth and blowing it, then the note will change. See how it is. See how it is. The, the, there is no change in fingering. There is no extra holes which, which I am covering or anything. Just increasing the blowing speed of air coming off your, out of your mouth. The speed. That is the, that is the, that is the key word. There is no effort which I am making or, or any kind of strength I am applying. I am just increasing the pace. It, it doesn't have to be like or, or you, are, you are blowing um, heavily. It, it, it is not required like that. So you have to just blow a, a speed, just increase the speed a bit, a little bit. See how it is. So how you have to practice this. So when you are playing, what you do is from the initial beginning was like, this was the practice thing. So when you are ending up in the sixth note, what you do is, you increase the speed a little bit. Or what you can do, if you are able to play the 6th note, if you have practiced uh, a lot and if you are confident in playing the note, then what you do, you slowly, slowly increase the uh, speed of your air coming out of the mouth so that the higher note will get played automatically. It is like, see, I am slowly playing then I am increasing the speed so that the higher note is uh, automatically played. Or what you can do, you can just play the note and just increase the air, uh, increase the speed of the air uh, for the next note. Like, you take a break. So this is the beauty of the Bansuri where you are able to play uh, two notes with the same kind of fingering. So this is, that is very interesting in Bansuri learning. What you do is, after this what you do is, you keep on increasing, I mean uh, just, uh, just uh, take this uh, finger out and then uh, when, when five fingers are closed, when five fingers are closed, just do the same thing. See I am, I am using five fingers now. don't have to increase the intensity or you have to use more energy while playing. It is not like that. The technique has to be correct. The speed has to be constant coming out of your uh, mouth, the, the speed of the air. It doesn't have to be much also. Or something, some other note will play that is very, very bad sounding.
See? I'm playing the low note. The high note. Then I'm uh, keeping this finger away and using the four fingers right now to play, uh, to play the this note. Okay? You do the same thing which I told that you just keep on increasing the uh, sound of the air, I mean uh, the speed of the air. Automatically the upper uh, note will play. But that is not the correct technique. Correct, correct note should be, it should be this note played, after that uh, the other note will play. It, it Like this. There should be break, there should be break between. It is not like you are... This is not the correct, this is only for learning which I am telling you. This is not the correct way. One note at a time. This will take time. This will, don't be hurry. Don't be in a hurry. So, uh, the, the, because you need uh, more blowing for this, you are, you are using more, uh, like speed of the air is more coming out of the mouth. So, so you have to practice a lot for that so you have to practice basically breathing exercises which is very important so now i'll i'll uh, close these three holes only and leaving this uh, other three holes i'm not uh, closing them there's no change of posture there's no change of my fingering nothing just increasing the Blowing p power, the, the intensity of sound coming. Practice up to this, this point or else you will face difficulty. If you are not mastered all these three holes, the higher notes, then you will face difficulty in the these notes. Like... So this is very hard at the beginning. Then what you do, if you have mastered this, then you uh, leave this hole and cover these two holes only and then do this. Practice this thing, this is the very basic lesson in uh, learning the Bansuri. So, when you are able to master this, you will be pay, able to play something like I'm using the lower pitches as well as the higher pitches consecutively so that so that the the beauty of the flute comes uh, all together. So you have to practice this a lot. You have to master all the all the all the notes, the higher pitches as well as the lower pitches. So first concentrate on the lower pitches. Uh, when only you are you are confident with the you know, lower pitches, then go for higher pitches as the way I suggested you, as the way I told you to play. So that's it for today guys. Thank you very much for watching this video. I hope you like this video. And uh, in my next tutorial, we will be talking about uh, what is the key of a composition or a scale or, or, or a song. You know, what is the key and uh, how to play the major scale or the suddha scale uh, in the Indian classical music as it is said. We will discuss that. I hope you like this video. Thank you very much for watching. If you like this video, please press the like button. Please share this video among your friends. And please do subscribe to my channel for latest videos. And if you have any questions, any comments or any queries, please do comment. So thank you again. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.